So great. Uh, welcome back, student. Uh, also, we embarked on this revision block for our revision block. So today we are looking at a revision block for ICT paper. That is the last meeting paper, the last meeting paper. So the uh, examiner was setting this exam. They wanted the students to pass, but uh, it, it will only happen to those students who uh, study very well or they do their revision very well. So if you do your revision very well in CPA, you will not fail any paper. You will not fail any paper. You will not fail any paper, believe me, you. So if you look at the last uh, sitting past paper question one, was a bit uh, application question, was a bit application question, which they asked, that is question one, Veronica and uh, Simon have each for a computer label A. So we have a computer here, a computer, a label A and computer B. We have computer A and computer B. And then they say, uh, with the following specification. So if you look at computer A, it has 125 RGB, it has 125 GB, uh, 125 GB flash disk. The other one, computer B has 52, uh, 52 GB, uh, 512 uh, GB. And then uh, the next one, it has the 16 GB RAM. This one has 16 uh, GB gigabyte RAM. Uh, RAM. We know what is the set of a memory, and then this one has 8 GB, 8 GB RAM, 8 GB RAM, 8 GB RAM. Then we have a 150 dBL screen or a screen. So if this one has 150 dBL screen, and also it has 15 inches, it has 15 inches. The other one has 250, uh, 225 dBL, and it has a uh, one, it has 13, 13 inch, 13 inch. So those are the description which examiner they give us, they gave us uh, according to the computer. And then, so they say, the question, uh, the question was asking to differentiate or to give the strength of a computer A. The examiner wanted the strength of a computer A and also the strength of a computer B, the strength of a computer B, the strength of a computer B. So if you are a good student here who wants to pass the ICT paper, what is exactly examiner is asking here? So the strength, they need the strength for A and the strength for, for B. So even before even you look at those, this, this feature can be can enable you to get what are the strength of A and B. So the first one, you can talk of capacity. The first one, you can talk of capacity. The first one, you can talk of capacity. Look at the RAM. Look at the RAM of the two uh, computers. This one has the 16. That is random uh, access memory. Random access memory. And this one is what? 8, uh, 8 GB. We said, we said we have two types of memory. We have the row and RAM. We have the row and RAM. So in these two, we have the one which is the, this is the primary memory, the primary memory of a computer. The primary memory of a computer. This is, is the secondary memory, the secondary memory of a computer, the secondary memory of a computer. So if it is the secondary memory of a computer, this one we don't use, we don't use, we don't use to what? To store file. We don't use to store file. We don't use the store file. But this one is the main. So this one we use to store files. We use to store files. We used to store files. Now, you know the difference between this. Is it now something that adds to explain the capacity? So you will be talking of capacity in terms of processing, in terms of processing. We say RAM, this is a memory of a computer which is used to store data while processing, while processing. So whenever the computer is still processing certain search from the Google engine, then they have to store the information in RAM. So according to that, so computer A has high capacity, high capacity, high capacity a processing or a processor. It has high capacity a processor. This B has low, the low capacity, 
the capacity, the low capacity. So this one is the first strength of a computer A, the first strength of a computer A. Then another one, look at the display, the inch. This one is 13 inch, and then this one is, uh, the other one is 15 inch, this one is 13 inch. So that one, you, in terms of what? Display, in terms of display. Because this display is uh, under what? Because this one always will come to screen, eh? which is with, it will fall under the output the, the output device, the output device. So this one will display more information compared to compared to B. That one will display more information compared to B. And those are the some of the reasons you could have uh, give the examiner. So the first one we have talked of high performance processor that is for a strength for a computer A. And then another one is uh, the, that is graphic, uh, graphic card. So when we talk of graphic card, when we talk of graphic, when we talk of graphic card or anything which is graphic, eh? so anything which is in, in, in form of graphic, it is in form of motion, in, in form of motion. If you are watching news with a computer A or you are watching YouTube with a computer A, Computer A has more graphic compared to computer B. Reason is this one has more inch. It has more inch compared to this one. 